Hi, so this is my CS50 web design capstone project and it's called Bookworm. It's a website that allows you to uh, log, forum, and rate books. I'm personally a big bookworm, so this website is basically meant for people like me. So this is the first page you see uh, when you log in. Currently I'm logged in as Hermione. So you have the title up here with a cute little CSS animation. Um, you have some nav links here, uh, the user, all books, my books, book chats, and log out. So first we can add a new book if it's not already there. So I was going to do this one. And you would just add the URL of the image. And I was just going to copy and paste a quick little synopsis. And then you just submit that. And it'll pop up right here. And if we click that, this is the page. And it exists for every book that's entered on here. So you have the title, all of the information, the cover here, uh, the add to read, add to reading, this rating system. Uh, viewing the ratings data, the synopsis, and the book chat. First, I want to talk about add to read and add to reading. So uh, many book users like to keep track of what they've read and what they're currently reading or going to read. So you can add it to read. I've already read it. So if I go to the My Books feature, it will be add, added to the books you have read, which shows every single book I've read and a count of how many um, there are. And I can remove it and add it to the reading list. So if I go back, it won't be under read, but it will be under reading, which also includes the count there. Also, uh, we can talk about the rating feature. So this little animation here was made using JavaScript. So let's say I rate it three stars. There's going to be a little message here that says you've rated it three stars, or I can read it four stars, um, so on and so forth, and it'll say that. Then you can view the ratings information, so how many people rated it five stars, four stars, etc. So we see one five star to a four star, and that's just from users I've created. And then there's a book chat feature. So this is the little chat. So all the blue messages that are to the right are things that I've sent, and to the left and our gray are things that other people have sent. So people can just discuss the book here. Um, and if I just send a chat real quick to demo it, we see a little new chat there. If I go to the book chats, it just shows a list of all the uh, books. So if I want to basically explore any of the chats, that's an option for you to do. Then we can talk about the mobile response. So these uh, books here will wrap as the screen shrinks, essentially, all the way down to one and if we go to a book so we see this little grid layout here at the top and you have the image to the left and everything here to the right so if I for example find myself on an iPhone instead we see that everything adjusts so rather than nav bar we have um, this click feature which can take me to wherever I want to go and everything is stacked on top of each other, and this was use, uh, made using Bootstrap Grid, the Bootstrap Grid system. So um, everything is there um, as such. Also, one last feature is the search feature. Since there's so many books, you can type in any search, and it'll return uh, any matching queries. Um, and that is essentially my project. So I hope you enjoy it.